EHI, this one was brought up again over here on Investors Hangout by Jobum. We're just uh, circling around on it again. I know that we've covered it on the 24th. I'm uh, going to check this out right now. 0014, watch for a break of 16 to turn this bullish. And you got that. Resistance at uh, 1416 and 20. Support at 13 and 10. Look at that beautiful break right here. I'm not seeing any gaps that I would be concerned about at this current time. Uh, really, really nice setup here, guys. And you guys just broke through that volume right now. Five million yesterday's volume at nine. Uh, you're on track to breaking that volume as well. Look at this volume starting to pick up in ABHI. I would watch this one. I would watch this one. I, I think that this one's getting ready to make a make a move here, especially coming off of uh, the one nine. And like I said, twenty is going to be that main one, but twenty is going to be the resistance level followed up by twenty five. Off of that. Uh, would probably be a more of a move. So 20 is going to be a resistance level. Uh, again, small. And then 25. Definitely set up for a move here. All right, so these ones right here, they, it's uh, currently a stop sign with pink no information. So I went over into the filings. I see their latest 10Q is from April 4th, 2016. It's been over a year, and that's for the period ended January 31st, 2016. Um, their latest press release was on March 9th, 2017. It was Abricom Holdings. Files additional lawsuit against PC drivers and updates on financials. All right, so Abricom Holdings has recently filed an additional lawsuit against PC drivers headquartered LP in the Federal Court of Austin, Texas. One claim in the lawsuit relates to the contractual obligation due to owing from PC drivers to Abricom for non-payment of service set for 200,000. This fee relates to the performance of Abricom performing and delivering agreed upon set up technical aspects of the contract as it relates to the optimization software program. The second claim in the lawsuit relates to the alleged violation of PC drivers of a separate contract between Abricom and PC drivers limited in the use of by PC drivers of Abicom's optimization intellectual property to the consumer marketplace. Abicom is seeking damages of at least 10 million. As of as an update of our current financials, Abicom will be following an 8K shortly to reflect the most recent developments with Abicom. We will also begin the process of the necessary filings to upgrade Abicom to current status with the SEC. A press release will be issued as the developments incur or occur. All right, so that's, let's see, over on the phones, I don't see that as of yet. So, I mean, this latest press release stated that they will be doing so, and they're also suing this other company for, you know, that. So, if you want to continue to follow this, or, I mean, it, it really comes down to us waiting on the, the company to, you know, inform us in regards to what's going on and bringing the company up to date on everything else. So, if you have an opinion on it, feel free to go over to that ABHI share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that we have used on the site daily. The we'll post right over there on the Abricom Holdings board. All right, all that information right here at your fingertips on investorshangout.com. And again, on the chart right now, 0019 setting up for a nice move here. In my opinion, resistance at 002 and 25, support at 16 and 13. We'll continue to watch this one as well. Uh, really nice uh, call on this one. I want to add in, uh, job them in here so I don't forget. There we go right there. 0019, watch for that break at 20. 20 would definitely uh, be, be a confirmation personally, but like I said, I would watch this one moving forward. If you follow the stock, make sure you subscribe and share this video out there with all other investors. We'd appreciate it. And don't forget to join us on our next live show, investorshangout.com forward slash live.